drums with the Lostra. Uh, I've been playing for about 10 years now. Um, I got first introduced to music, kind of like friends, family. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. Like my sister was into heavy music. I had some family members in Australia that introduced me to some heavy music, and it just kind of like I sat behind the drum kit and I was like, I really like this, so I kind of stuck with it. Met or was first introduced to actually Rocky uh, in music theory class, who obviously plays guitar in the Lostra. And then through that, we made friends and then got kind of introduced to other friends. And there was this band way back in the day called Species that I kind of jammed with for a little bit. And then from that, Rocky kind of started other things in the of Lostra, and things fell into place. I got asked to, um, you know, take part in helping record this album, and here we go. So uh, right now, this I've been playing. This is a Grinch Renown Maple. I believe I got it in about 2000, 2010, 2011. Um, and then I'm running. I have a combination of snares. I was using a 1970s Rogers Power Tone. Um, right now, I'm using a six and a half by 14 Tama SLP Walnut Snare. And down there, I have a Crockett Tub seven by 13 uh, kind of wood composite one-off, like totally one of a kind snare. Um, Sabian. Mixed cymbals, a couple minor uh, Istanbul hi hats. A buddy of mine, Phil Didlake, you're awesome. Brought me back from Turkey, which was super sick. Um, Evans drum heads, pretty much top and bottoms. G twos, um, Genera resonance, Emad two, and then I got the EQ three resonant and a big ass American flag pillow my mom made me. It's kind of been my bass drum pillow pillow forever. Um, yeah, that's my gear. Oh yeah, sorry, sticks. Um, Thomas Bridgens. Uh, signatures. I also am using Matt Halpern's. They're super fat, really nice. Um, and then I use marching sticks and a pad to kind of warm up and build up my chops and stuff. What makes me excited about the album is just seeing how you know all of this kind of came together very last minute. Um, that just kind of made all these things happen. I, you know, always dreamed about recording a full length album. That was kind of like, hey, I've been playing music. Like this is kind of my goal. I got the opportunity. Um, Things fall into place, and uh, you know, life finds a way. Uh, but it, everything that I could have hoped to put into an album, as far as my skills that I've tried to learn over the years, I was able to nail exactly how I wanted. The drums sound exactly how I wanted. Um, Zach Oren did an incredible job with keeping things organic, and um, I, it's, it's just. When you create something with a group of people and you genuinely know this was all of your hardest works and all of you put in an equal amount of um, effort and stress and just, you know, it's, I'm, I'm really excited to see what you got. Uh, I'm excited. It's awesome. Guys, we got a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, you can kind of stay tuned. Our Facebook, Instagram, um, Facebook forward slash Man. Um, you know, hashtag Obastra, everything like that. We've got pre-orders coming. We have hard copies of the album. We've got new merch dropping. We're going to have videos coming out. Um, there's a lot of stuff, so stay tuned. It's going to be fucking rad. Yeah.